So we've clearly been exploring all the different branches of government and the different uh, checks on Trump. And one of them is potentially the House. Now, Republicans are on track to keep control of the House. And that means people like Jim Jordan are gearing up to deliver for their boss, you know, Donald Trump. Jordan sent a letter to special counsel Jack Smith just days after the election last week, demanding that Smith preserve all records related to his prosecutions of Trump. Now, a notice like that is usually the first step toward launching a congressional investigation. And when asked about it yesterday, he notably did not rule out calling on Smith to testify. So I think we can all guess where this may be headed. We'll see. But when it comes to Trump's intentions, Jordan insisted that he doesn't think the incoming president will actually try to prosecute his perceived enemies, despite, of course, Trump's promise to prosecute his enemies repeatedly. Now, that would all be quite a welcome surprise if that happened. But then you listen to people like Mike Davis, a conservative lawyer and close lawyer, uh, ally of Donald Trump's, just listen to how Davis threatened New York Attorney General Letitia James, who won a massive civil judgment against Trump for business fraud just earlier this year. Let me just say this to Big Tish James, the New York Attorney General. I, I dare you. I dare you to try to continue your lawfare against President Trump in his second term. Because listen here, sweetheart, we're not messing around this time. And we will put your fat ass in prison for conspiracy against rights. And I promise you that. First of all, that guy sure seems like someone you'd want to bring home to mom, doesn't he? Well, that same gentlemanly fellow has reportedly been floated for the job of attorney general. We will see. And Trump has said publicly that he wants him to serve in a, quote, very high capacity, regardless of what that is. So, look. We should all be ready to believe Trump's own words when he promises an agenda of so-called retribution. Though I have to say, the word is a misnomer in this context. Retribution implies that the people holding Trump accountable were wrong to do so, and they most certainly were not. Joining me now is someone who is in Congress. He will have a big role, Democratic Congressman Dan Goldman of New York, who sits on the House Judiciary Committee. It's great to see you. Let me just start with Jim Jordan. I mean, he's pretending, I guess, that we all haven't watched the last eight years transpire. But what are you and other Democrats in the committee preparing for? Because this is part of what you're doing in this stage, right, in terms of the possibility of law enforcement officials like Letitia James or Jack Smith or even others being called to testify. Well, first, uh, it is an absolute uh, disgrace that Donald Trump seems like he's going to escape accountability for his federal cases because of the DOJ policy that uh, DOJ cannot prosecute a sitting president. Um, this was very clearly what Trump's primary goal was in running for president, was to evade that accountability. Um, and already we've seen indications from Jack Smith uh, that he's going to do that. But it does not mean that we should not get a full accounting of the conduct, including in a report. And I agree with Chairman Jordan. We should know everything mm -hmm. about this investigation. We should know whether or not there was any coordination with the Attorney General Garland or uh, President Biden. Remember, this is the Biden Department of Justice that prosecuted uh, President Biden's son, Hunter Biden. So this notion of lawfare or weaponization uh, is pure projection and total bunk. Um, but I agree. I, I think that Congress's role is to understand uh, everything about the special counsel's investigations of Donald Trump. And so I, I do hope Chairman Jordan goes forward with that investigation. Now, I have talked to you a lot on this show. I'm not sure I've ever heard you agree with Jim Jordan, but this is a time for that. It does feel like you may have slightly different objectives here in terms of what you want to get down to the bottom of with Jack Smith. My bet is he's a pretty effective person during a hearing. Um, you may get to the bottom of what actually happened here and really clear up some absurd conspiracy theories. Could it backfire for Jim Jordan? I mean, there might be stuff he doesn't want out there probably will be stuff. Well, look, I mean, they've made all sorts of allegations, Jim Jordan and Donald Trump and everybody else, that this is a purely politicized uh, investigation, uh, both investigations are, and that it is uh, just to get Donald Trump, uh, the political opponent of Joe Biden. 
Uh, if that's the case, once the special counsel's investigation is over, uh, there is no reason for the special counsel or the Department of Justice to withhold information from Congress. And it is incumbent upon Congress to get that information. That's what they did with special counsel Durham. That's what they did with special counsel Robert Mueller. That's what they did with special counsel Robert Herr. This is how it has become to come to work in Congress, which is what our role is. Our role mm -hmm. should be to get to the bottom, um, to hold the Department of Justice accountable. And so whatever the facts are, if there was uh, weaponization and partisan efforts to get Donald Trump, then we should know about it. And if there weren't, we should also know about it. Are there, I mean, uh, uh, all of the official, a lot of the appointed officials and nominated officials who are in the Department of Justice are about to be out of office in a couple of months. Are there others you'd like to see testify before Congress? about this um look i, I i'm I, I will tell you that uh i'm eager for all of them to come and testify uh i urge chairman jordan um to actually get to the bottom of the allegations um, they have made numerous, numerous allegations that are not supported at this point by any evidence. So as you would do with allegations, you investigate them. The way to investigate them would be to call witnesses to get documents. And so we can uncover whether or not there is any legitimacy to these allegations or whether or not they just like to make those allegations um, and not investigate them, because we saw what happened with the impeachment investigation in the Oversight Committee. There were lots of allegations, and once they started to investigate them, they all came crumbling down. Turns out when the truth, the truth surfaces, it can be awkward for some. I'm going to call this bipartisanship a week after the election, Congressman Dan Goldman. Uh, thank you for joining me and for being always committed to getting to the bottom of the truth. Coming up, the Trump team says the president-elect just spoke with Vladimir Putin, the only catch. The Kremlin says the call never happened. I've got some thoughts on that when we come back.